Hi, it's Ryan here again. Uh, it's an update again on my Iridium 9555 uh, satellite phone. You might have noticed in my last video that this uh, little thing here, which is where the antenna port would normally be, um, so this is what a uh, this is what a uh, the back of an Iridium phone looks like normally. I'll try and get out of the shadow there, and then this is what I've got in mind. Um, some of you may know what this is, some of you may not, but I'm going to um, I'm going to bring you up to speed here. It's actually an adapter for a Nitrable 5 car kit. Um, I've got a um, I, uh, I bought a Pivotel branded Nitrable 5 car kit. Now I'm not really sure about Nitrable 5 car kits. I'll have to have a look. So I know them, there are a couple of out there. There's a couple out there from a variety of different manufacturers. Um, I got the Pivotel one because it was reasonably priced and it's competitive, and uh, and I got it through my employer, strangely enough. So that's why I got that one. Um, so you might have seen this before. This is on the back of uh, of my work car. It's a the work so it's a Falcon something Ford something. Um, this is the satellite antenna. It comes with very 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 um, unflexible, <laughs> I suppose if that's a word, uh, coax uh, coax run. It comes with about five meters. Um, so I've placed that on the uh, on the boot. On the lip of the boot, as you can see there, um, only because I can't get a coax run of this car up onto the roof. Now it doesn't; it performs actually surprisingly well for where it's placed. Uh, it doesn't perform great. Certainly doesn't perform as well as, uh, as uh, the phone handheld in your in your hand with the internal antenna. But it actually performs very, very, very. Well. I was very, very surprised with the uh, with the performance of this particular antenna um, and the and the coax run. It's got five meters of so of coax which runs to the to the to the to the car. So let me wander around here. We'll jump into the car. So this is the car kit uh, as it exists without. Um, let me just uh, let me switch that radio off. Uh, so this is the car kit that exists with no phone in it. So you can see there the tiny little antenna adapter, and that's what time um, attaches to the adapter on the phone. It's actually really good because it means that nothing's going into the phone. So it's a really good surface level contact. Mine is mounted on a. I'll see if I can get a shot of it here. It's actually a. Um, it's got a click on C L I C O N. Uh, it's, uh, it's a click on bracket. It's a no holes adhesive and and friction based bracket. Um, the one I've got. I've also got one on this side holding my BlackBerry on. I'll try and get a bit shot of it here. You can see the branding there. Click on. Um, they're actually a, a really good bracket. This one's not a hugely great. It's actually pretty stable at the moment. I did some extra tape, but it's not great. Um, but um, click on brackets in general, very, very, very good quality. I think this is probably just a touch heavy um, for it, and it sits out quite a long way, and it's obviously quite a bit of movement in that bracket. Um, I'll see if I can see if you can see this really, really thick um, uh, from the cradle, very, very thick umbilical, which runs back to the runs back to the body. Um, there's also in there a very, very thin antenna cable. Um, down here, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yep, there you go. So there's a uh, there's an adapter. I believe it is a. Let me just double check. It's a mini UHF to TNC. So male mini UHF coming off the back of the uh, mini. I'll get my hand out of the way. Mini UHF coming off the back of the cradle. Mini t uh, male TNC coming off the extension cable. You can see there's the extension cable that runs there under the mat. Um, an adapter there, and even with that. Uh, it still performs very well. It comes with uh, obviously uh, this the the car kit comes with a a body, which is quite large. Comes with uh, a four wire wiring loom, obviously for for ground, constant power switch power. I can't really remember what the last one's for, but it didn't come with a manual, so it's a bit confusing. Um, this Pivotel here, this is actually a sticker. I don't want to damage it. No, it's actually a sticker. So there's a different branding underneath, but I'm not really sure I can remember. There you go, advanced tech. So this, the the uh, the Pivotel sticker is is it comes in the box and you actually put it on yourself. So advanced tech is the brand of the um as the brand of the car kit. There you go. There comes with a speaker and it comes with this uh, weird looking the top one there the weird looking mic. Um, so I'll drop the phone in and fire it up if I can find the phone here. So just you know bottom first, click straight in. That's the release there. Uh, you fire it up in the... Actually, there's a small problem, so I need to switch the car on. So I'll, I'll switch off some other radios. And that radio's not going to power up. Okay, good. So then we'll power the phone up, because I've got this wired into switch power. The phone powers up. 
little startup animation as per usual. Yeah. The Iridium logo, which is good. Yeah. Okay, we'll stand by and we'll uh, we'll pick up where we left off. I must have put the sim back in incorrectly. All right, stand by. Yeah, that was my fault. I put the sim in the wrong way. So I fixed the sim, fire it up. Here we go. Start off animation. You can see it's actually it actually it looks quite large. It is quite large. It's actually a lot um, more svelte and sleek and, appro and, and appropriate than I thought it would be. It, it looks not too bad. Um, it's very common in our fleet vehicles to have them mounted here which is actually probably where I'll mount my next one. Um, I choose to I chose to use a no-holes bracket because I've only got this car for a short period of time so I didn't want to start going drilling too many holes in it for radios and phones and stuff. And as you can see there, it's search network, pick the neck up straight away, I'm picking the network up straight away. There's nothing really which tells you that it's connected to the car kit. The battery here is full because I've been driving for a couple of hours and um, and the battery's fully charged. Um, but you'd normally see that battery uh, that battery light uh, so that battery indicator in its charging mode where it just scrolls across. Um, hmm, and there's actually no indication there that um, normally there is a... Let me just start the car, hang on. Oh, that's right, there we go. Because the car was um, the car was not on... Uh, it was on accessory, so I must have wired this into an on position. Oh, and I'll switch the air conditioning off. So I must have wired the, this car into an on position um, power supply. Uh, you can hear a couple of other things switching on there as well. Um, and as you saw when I switched the car on, it had a it came out and said USB cable connected. Now if I take this out, USB cable disconnected, I drop it back in, you get the beep, uh, USB cable connected and that. So I'm not sure, there's no indication on the body of the unit that it actually accepts any sort of data connection. Um, but I think it's just, it must present to the phone, the car can must present to the phone that way. And you can actually see, you know, their full signal registered on the network. I'll just pop it out so it loses contact with the cable with the antenna. Um, that's going to make a liar of me now because it's going to be going to... I'm parked on top of a hill on the side of a country road, so probably not too bad. Um, now, normally you get some key feedback, so like that. Uh, and, uh, and if you dial, you obviously get, you know, some key feedback as well. So um, it actually works really well. Let me make a call to it if I can remember the number. Sat phone, there we go. Um, so I'm calling from my Blackberry. Uh, well, that's going to be a problem because my Blackberry doesn't have any service. Okay, well, that's a really good, this is a really good example. I've got, you know, there's your Blackberry, nothing. There's uh, the sat phone, everything. Um, let me make a call out. Let me make a call out. So I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, you can look at, you can look at what's happening out outside while I dial this call. That's me dialing quickly. Um, so I'm calling. You get the calling display. You get the beep that the uh, the call's been established. So that's talking to the network. You get the flashing red and green light. This is very normal, so this is a really good example of placing an Iridium call um, while it tries to establish, it, it, it routes a data channel, to, it routes a voice channel, or it is a data channel. Um, there you go, that's a beep to say that's going to place a call. Please leave your message, and, um, and it's got the counter. Voice to text will also send your voicemail as a text. Hi Ryan, it's Ryan, just doing a demo call from the Iridium phone. And I'll hang up, call ended. Back, bam, and that's it. That's pretty much it. That's exactly. That's a really good example of what making a, a, an Iridium call uh, sounds like. You get that. Uh, you get that. Yeah, that that constant do do as it establishes the channel. It drops you into the channel. Very very high compression with the AV ABME codec. If you're done, if you're not sure about the, what the AMB codec is, I encourage you to uh, to Wikipedia it or Google it. AMBE or VMBE. Um, same codecs used on uh, APCO P25. Uh, digital public safety radios, same uh, same voice codec used on ICOM Digital D Star, which is a, an amateur radio digital format, and a couple of other things. Uh, it's also used by Inmarsat for its uh, for its its voice codec. A very very high efficiency codec for voice over dodgy radio connections, essentially. Um, all right, well, what we'll do is I will keep driving. 
and I'll uh, I'll make another video of the uh, I'll make another video of, of of a call. I'm making a call to a phone. I'll make a video of a call coming in when I've got when I'm in a an area with uh, with with terrestrial phone coverage. And uh, I will, uh, and I'll also make a call. I'm going at about a hundred down the road, so you can have an indication of what it sounds like, how well it performs uh, at speed. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, and I'll pop another video up shortly.